Welcome to the healthcare update. Uh, we saw a fair bit of volatility yesterday with the two hospital operators, Ramsey Healthcare and HealthScope. Um, both were down sharply, around uh, 4 or 5%. That was on the back of another broker downgrading those two stocks, and it was uh, following their assessment of a re the uh, Medicare uh, schedule review that's currently underway by the government. Uh, the essence of the report was that there's going to be um, a fair bit of over-servicing that, that's creating wastage in the healthcare sector and that is expected to be uh, come under some uh, scrutiny by the government. We agree with that, however, we're, our view is that uh, any change, any fundamental changes to the current fee-based system um, will take some time to implement. So in terms of the earnings outlook for both those companies, we still think uh, they remain broadly intact. Uh, what we're seeing from overseas operators is uh, a move away from fee-based services, more towards a evidence-based or outcomes-based operation. Uh, and what we've observed there is that that does take some time to implement. So we think the same would be the case in Australia. Uh, in terms of the review that's currently underway by the government, recommendations aren't expected out until the end of calendar 2016, although there will be interim reports will, which will help provide some clarity during the year. When we look at the earnings forecast for the next three years for HealthScope and Ramsey, they're both expected to grow in excess of 10% per annum, which is very attractive in this low growth environment. So in terms of our recommendations, we're still staying positive on both stories uh, for long-term investors. However, we do acknowledge that in the short term, there will be continued volatility uh, across those two names and in fact across the broader domestic healthcare operators where we've seen weakness already across pathology and imaging. Uh, so uh, short-term investors expect that volatility to continue. Long-term investors, we're really looking for opportunities to build our portfolio positions uh, and we'll do that over the next couple of uh, weeks and months. That's all for today. Bye for now.